I'm back with a tag video and this one I hope is just a little bit of fun building a five piece collection. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are as an individual. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. I think it's the most important thing. So, I said I'm here with a little tag video. And this is a bit of a take on something that I have seen in the past, which is where YouTubers have talked about building collections for a certain amount of money. Maybe $5,000, $10,000, get as much as you can, get as, you know, whatever you want kind of thing for that money. Now, I'm doing a little take on it and I'm removing the price element of this. And what I would like to task myself and some of my fellow YouTubers to do is to build a five piece collection for 2022 that is absolutely everything they would use for 2022. So let's say that their bags got put, all of our bags got put in a vault for the duration of 2022 and they said they will be released at the end of 2022 but for the next next year, next 11 months, you have to use these five bags and you have to go and buy them. Money no object but you have to go and buy them right now. So a few rules because there are rules and I like to make these things difficult for myself and the lovely individuals that I hope will take on this video. We are removing certain brands. Whatever the top two brands are within your collection, you are not allowed to buy. You are not allowed to use. So for me, I am not allowed to choose a Longchamp bag. I am not allowed to choose a Kurt Geiger bag because those are the bags I have most of in my collection. That made this really difficult because you know for every occasion, Longchamp is where my head goes. How can I fit a Longchamp bag into this need? This was difficult from that perspective. So I thought it would be a little bit of fun and that will differ person by person as to the brand that they cannot purchase from. And I've done the top two just to make it a little bit more difficult. Now, to add in one more rule, because it's my game and I make the rules, you can only buy one bag from each brand. So, of the five bags, you must have five brands. So, let's get into it. I have tried to think about this, and I have thought about what is my need, and what do I use, and why do I use it, and... The items that I have chosen, I think will fit best with my lifestyle based on the bags that I currently use in my collection that I won't be able to touch because I pretty much predominantly own Longchamp and Kurt Geiger bags. So where am I supposed to go from here? Who bloody knows? Anyway, the easy one that I thought I would start off with is work. I thought, what do I need from a work bag? What work bags do I use? What would I need? And I still want this list to be really true to myself and my style, so I'm going for in my first work bag, I'm going for an Aspinall of London work bag, and I'm going for the London tote. This is a large bag. I would buy this in blue. I would buy this in pink. I would buy this in purple. I would buy this in beige. It's a beautiful item, a full leather bag, and it is sizable. And what I love about that is you can throw everything in one place. You don't need to carry multiple bags. You can just throw it all in, throw your laptop in, throw your lunch in, throw a drink in, throw your pens, your papers, whatever it is that you need rock and roll, let's go. They do these for around £650, and if you get them on sale, you can get them for circa 325 There was one that I was looking at in pink that I very nearly bought that was 325 in the sale. Should have bought it, didn't. Anyway, here we are. That would be my first bag um, that I would go for because I think it's absolutely beautiful, subtle, sophisticated, and I love, love, love Aspinall as work bags. Don't own one yet myself, Watch this space though, it could happen. So then that's work covered off, we're done there. I was then thinking about what's the next style of bag that I use most, and I'm thinking daytime at this point. And therefore where I decided to go with this was I jumped across to Mulberry. 
as you know, I have a Mulberry Bayes water myself. However, my, my particular version isn't the version that I would probably choose. As much as I love it, I don't think out of the current collection it is what I would go for. Instead, I would go for this beautiful black and white printed leather version. I think this is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I love the drama of it. It is simple yet dramatic. I love the size of the Mulberry Bay's water. I love that turn lock. I think it's beautiful. Subtle, top handle. Could be used as an additional work bag if you wanted. Could be used as a day bag. Because of these colours, I think you could use it more formally. I don't mind using big bags in more formal settings. Because it's top handle, that adds an element of formality regardless. I think it's absolutely beautiful. One that I would love to own myself, regardless of this particular challenge. £1,250, which I think for a leather bag this size is, is pretty good as luxury goes. And I know that I would use this no end. The only thing I'm not sure is if it has feet. However, due to the fact that it's leather and the, and the colour of the base leather, because I don't think it would show wear and tear in quite the same way, but this is absolutely beautiful, a stunning item. Now, I was then thinking about what other categories do I need to fill? Because we've got work and we've got predominantly daytime. To be honest, I like to switch up my bags during the daytime. It's worth me having a couple of daytime bags. But we all know I love a top handle. We're not going cross body in this list whatsoever. Where we are going next, and you could wear this crossbody because I believe it does come with a strap, but we are going for a Lady Dior in the large size. Practical, beautiful, sophisticated, elegant, timeless, classic, stunning. Now, what version would I get this in? I'm not 100%. I am praying to the fashion gods that they bring this out in the large size in that beautiful pink fabric that I spoke about um, on the Dior book tote. Stunning. I've been thinking about that non-stop. The thing is, the book tote isn't for me. Um, I don't think I would use it anywhere near enough. But if they brought this out in a large Lady Dior, I think I would, I'd start selling some things. I'd start selling some things because it is so beautiful. And that would be the version I would probably go for. If they weren't to bring that out, I would love one in white leather. I've spoken before about how I passed up a really good value pre-loved Lady Dior in the large size. It was all authentic. It was from a, it was from a, um, a store specialising in secondhand luxury and it was just shy of a thousand pounds. Large Lady Dior, excellent condition. I can't believe I didn't buy it. I had it in my cart, went back to get it the next day and it was gone. And that just shows you have to move fast on these things. That was a big regret of mine should have gone for it, but it wouldn't have been financially sensible at the time. But now in hindsight, I wish I'd just done it. Um, I just figured it out. It would have been fine. I wouldn't have bought half of the stuff I ended up buying subsequently. Um, but I think that would be fabulous. But if they were to bring it out in this pink material, that would be glorious. To be honest, any of the materials they bring out, the Lady Dior's in a beautiful, but I think I would go for either this pink, if you could get it in this pink, I'm merging two bags here, but again, my game, I make the rules, um, or I would buy it in a white leather, a grey leather. If I couldn't get it in a, in a lighter shade, I would still get it in black. I would still go for a large black Lady Dior um, in the um, canage pattern, because I do think it's absolutely beautiful and it's very, very timeless. I would like this very, very much. Okay, and then number four. So we've got a couple of day times. We've got a work bag. Let's now jump to evening. And I thought, right, I don't want to have multiple evening bags because I am not someone who goes out all that often. And when I do, I tend to gravitate towards the same thing. And I was thinking, which bags have I enjoyed most recently of an evening? And what have I enjoyed using? Now, I absolutely loved using, and I cannot pick the brand, but I loved using my Longchamp Les Pliage Pokemon top handle. And I've loved using, again, can't pick the brand, my Kurt Geiger shoulder bag, uh, my sequined shoulder bag. And I thought, why did I enjoy them? I enjoyed them because they were practical enough and they were very, very beautiful. But what actually picked the other one was the um, Kurt Geiger picked the Longchamp. The reason being, I could throw it over my shoulder when I wanted to. The, the long shot was top handle solely all night. And that was okay, I don't mind it, but there were moments when, particularly when 
you're just having drinks and you're just stood around as we were at the event I was at for a, an hour or so. I just wanted to put it down because I was having to hold it in my hand. Um, and you know, between your arms starting to ache because you're holding a heavy bag, your heels starting to hurt your feet. I was wearing 120 millimeters that happened pretty quickly. You know, sometimes you just want to be able to alleviate one of the one of the um, discomforts and the heels weren't coming off. So I wanted to put my bag down. So I thought shoulder bags. What am I loving in terms of the shoulder bag universe? And I immediately thought Gucci, Gucci Dionysus, the Gucci Dionysus in the blooms. And why would I go for this one? Love the fabric. I'm a fabric bag lover, as we know. Love the fact that it has a certain amount of monogramming, but it's also got this visual differentiation with the Gucci blooms. This would work very well for day and night. It would work for all seasons. Beautiful, practical. I would get it in the largest size I could get my hands on. I also believe this comes with silver hardware, which we all know is an absolute win for me. Silver, silver, silver. Love, love, love. And I think this would be a good price point because it's sub £2,000, I believe, for this particular version, or it's in that arena, which I think is pretty good value considering if you were to go, for example, a Chanel Boy, which I think they're quite similar bags, um, you're probably doubling the price. And a Dior Diorama, I think, is probably somewhere in the middle of those. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but probably somewhere in the middle. So I think you get quite a lot of bag for your money versus some of the competition and I think it would be an absolutely beautiful item. A Gucci Dionysus Blooms. And the final category, the splurge. The one that you just speaks to you, that your heart sings for, that you are obsessed with, that you are in love with, that you cannot stop thinking about. That for me, a Birkin 35 in pink, ideally a soft pink or a very, very hot pink, flamingo pink with silver hardware. That would be glorious. That would be the splurge. I, like I said, this is money, no object. Okay, money, no object. This is also taking into consideration the fact that, you know, we're also ignoring the fact that I couldn't just walk in, okay? And I might not be offered one or I might not be offered the one that I like. So see my latest buy it because you love it, rant if you haven't already. But that would be absolutely beautiful and that would be my splurge item, I believe. Um, if I could in some way get my hands on one or if it was a case of going pre-loved and the right one happened to be there and I could pick that up. But Birkin 35, even a Birkin 40 in a hot pink or a beautiful soft baby pink with palladium hardware, rose gold hardware, but ideally, you know, this is all made up, so ideally palladium, that would be absolutely glorious because that would just work so well for me. And I know that a lot of the bags that I've got on this list, um, I've basically got you, probably what, what would this be? A couple of pink ones and a couple of black bags, maybe a beige, dependent. So I might end up with kind of, you know, a black, a, a black mulberry base water, the Gucci blooms, which I guess is canvas with a bit of pink um, and green and blue on it, a Aspinall tote in whatever I could get my hands on. That might have been a pink, a beige, a purple. Then we're talking about a pink D uh, Lady Dior in large, if I could in that fabric. If not, that would probably be white or black. Um, and then we're talking a pink Birkin. So, okay, there's not a huge amount of variation in terms of the styles and colors here because we've got a lot of the same colors. We've also got a lot of top handles, but you've got to go with what's true to your style. And for me, those would be absolutely true to my style. So it would be wrong for me to sit here and say, oh, I'll buy a Louis Vuitton posh accent, multi posh accessoire. I won't because I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use it. I couldn't tell you what I would use it for. So that that would be my five if someone were to say nick we're locking all of your bags away for the remainder of 2022 here's an an open-ended credit card go and buy five bags that you can only use exclusively for 2022 what are you picking up that's what i'm picking up i would love to know what your thoughts are on my selections i would love to know what your thoughts are on this video the individuals that i would love to see their take on i'd love to see all of your takes on it so if this is even if you know i don't call your name please go forth and do it um i really would love to see your videos but i can only tag a few individuals at a time so i'm going to tag a few right now and that is steph from handbag holic cassie thorpe amelia from amelia rose closets 
Dale from Dale's Addictions, Caleb from Caleb Snell's channel, and the lovely Connor as well, so from the channel The Closet. So please do go and check out their channels if you aren't already follow if you aren't already subscribed to them and viewing their content. Fabulous individuals, fabulous content creators, um, but there are so many more who I wasn't able to tag, but hopefully this video makes its way around to them and I would love to see everybody's version of it. So there we are guys, I've theoretically spent about 20k on those bags and had, had a bit of a blast doing it. So let me know what you think of my choices and I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care everyone, bye now. Mwah.